and welcome to a EF2000 Tacticom Let's Play video and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the long range missiles and the turn and burn tactic that's a useful tactic when fighting enemies from a long range and we're going to start off in the first quick battle mission the first thing you want to do is press shift and M to get the mini map up on your top right hand of the side of the screen and then press F1 to get rid of all the cockpit and uh, that's the best way to see everything now you're in a bad position at the start of this uh, mission you're at a low height flying slow so you need to throttle up and put the afterburners on and aim about 40 to 50 degrees up into the sky to gain altitude when you're about 20,000 feet and not far off Mark 1, that is the best sort of angle of attack to launch your long range missiles. So uh, we don't want to fire our missiles at a low altitude because they've got less chance of hitting. Now we're about 20,000 feet now going about 500 knots now we can see the enemies in the distance there in our mini map and we've got our S25-4 missiles four of those on our pylons and we're going to launch them first don't forget to put your ECM on as well and tell your wingman to put his ECM electronic countermeasures on so their ra radar missiles won't hit you will get a lock onto you. Once you've launched your four long range missiles tell your wingman to engage and I've switched the camera to the wingman now as you can see the S25 missiles are the longest range missiles on the Eurofighter in this game. And once he's launched his we've got to turn and burn so we've got to turn 180 degrees and put our afterburners on and then we tell our wingman to disengage and reform form a flying formation. So here we are, we're going to turn around. We've got missiles on us already, so the only way to not be hit by them is to run. <laughs> the wingman will ask to engage, but just ignore him. So when those planes are just behind you like now, we put half the burners on. And we we even got the luxury of uh, put, putting the camera on the missile view to see if our missiles are hit. And as you can see, that's the enemy bombers there. We've got one. We've got another one. And the good thing is that the enemy fighters they're going to be a bit angry and they're just going to follow pod you. And as long as you turn 180 degrees, they're just going to fly into those missiles. So once you're happy with all those missiles have hit home, turn around again and use your medium range missiles on those fighters and bombers that are left. Um, our wingman's decided to attack by himself. <laughs> Good luck to him. Sometimes you can't control him, so even though you told him to disengage, you may get caught up. So we've turned around and we're firing our AMR missiles, which are medium missiles. And once you've fired one, if you press the C button, it'll cycle to the next target and then you fire again, press C and fire again until your missiles are all launched. And now we're going to do the turn and burn again. So we're going to turn around 180 degrees and put half the burners on again. So if they launch any missiles, we're going to outrun them. And this is the only way really you can survive longer than the enemy, is by turning and burning. And there we've got another fighter. So this is a good tactic they'll just keep heading straight into your missiles so that's the enemy computer for you so we've still
still got a couple of missiles on our tail. If you press F12, you can see, have a missile view, you can see whereabouts they are. Your electronic countermeasures are on, so you might be able to break a lock and your flares and chaff will automatically dispense. So we're flying away at Mach 1.8. We've just got to make sure those missiles have uh, exhausted themselves. And you can tell that by uh, the red writing at the bottom of the screen saying there's a so there's still a missile lock on us. Now if you look at the mini map on the top right hand corner there's a few more fighters and bombers left. We've got four ASR short range missiles left. So we're just going to turn around now for the third time and face them on head on. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can repeat the process we've done before or you can go full burn and fly over them and turn around and shoot them in the, in the tail. Now the, the fighters that are left, if you press F7 and target them you can see what they are. So these are MiG-21s left and they're they're not that threatening to be honest. It's the SU-35s, they're, they're pretty dangerous and we've taken them all out now. And there's only one bomber left. And we've still got a missile on us so uh, we've got to keep our speed up. As long as we're about Mach 2 we can outrun pretty much anything. And we're high up too so it's unlikely we're going to get hit by a missile. So now we're just going to head right towards these uh, last few fighters and bombers and use our short range missiles on them. And there's quite a high probability that these missiles won't hit their target unfortunately. That's the nature of these short range missiles so if I had a choice I'd rather keep two extra medium range missiles, AMR missiles, rather than four short range ones. And the MiG-21s aren't very mo maneuverable so they've been hit and they've been polished off. So uh, yeah, this turn and burn technique works really well in this game. Now just going through the cloud level because the last bombers are hugging the ground and they're making way to the to our airfield and bombing it. So if we just bank to the left. We can see those two. If you press F7 you can see what kind of fighter it is. Although on the bottom right hand side of the HUD it will tell you are the range of the fighter and beneath the letter R is the letter B which means bomber. If it was a fighter it would be an F and bombers are more of a high, high priority target. You get more points if you destroy them so I would use your missiles on them first before uh, targeting any fighters. So bombers are the main main target for you. And if you can see the bottom left hand corner of the screen there's a timer that's running down and uh, that tells you how much time we've got left in this quick battle. So now we've targeted a, a bomber here who's trying to leg it away I think. There's, a, there's an old fight, I don't know what that is actually, coming towards us. So we've got a choice of the two. We can choose the bomber that's flying away or the fighter that's coming towards us. So we're going to aim for the fighter and you can see how that letter changes from B to F when we press C to toggle between the targets. And we've launched a missile at it and you can tell it's been targeted by the missile by a cross that goes through the, the uh, its box. Uh, although it's probably got electronic countermeasures itself and it's uh, 
has lost the lock. Now if you press F8, you can go to the missile view, and you can see how the missile's diving into the ground. So it's lost, it's, it's broke its lock. <gasps> We've been hit. Oh my goodness! If you press L, it will recover itself and fly f level for you. Um, although we've done enough and we've finished the level. It's fantastic. So we don't even have to try and land this, we can just uh, end the mission there. I well, hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and safe flying.